the girls need to focus on the girls and forget about what the guys are going to do. To me, they're irrelevant tomorrow, not until we start mixing up the teams. I'm not even going to think about them. People, generally speaking, don't like to step forward for the first task because there's a fear. Nobody wants to go away. We've all given up family, friends, life, jobs, and nobody wants to be first in the boardroom on the losing team. In less than 24 hours, 16 will become 15 when one of Bill's candidates is fired. 6.30 a.m. and both teams have been summoned to a meeting with Bill at an unknown location to find out what he has in store for them today. I hope it's really um, door to door. <laughs> Dirty selling. Dirty selling. No, but you know, it's really, really hands on. Rather it than is going to be. Standing on a stand or something like that. Good morning, candidates. Good morning, Bill. I trust you all slept well last night. Fantastic. So we're here in the Carlton Hotel at Dublin Airport. And to give you details of your first task, I'll hand you over to Michael Carney, the Chief Executive of the Carlton Hotel Group. Michael. Many thanks, Bill, and good morning, apprentices. Welcome to the Carlton Rooftop Conference Centre here at the four-star Carlton Dublin Airport Hotel. I'm very pleased to be setting you your first task for this year's apprentice. The Carlton Hotel Group is a wholly owned Irish company with 10 properties right around Ireland from Donegal to Kinsale and from Dublin to Westport. This is a straightforward selling task, which is to sell the Carlton gift card vouchers, which are for various amounts, with the higher numbers being for the corporate market. The team that sells the most will be deemed the winner. Good luck, apprentices. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. So, girls. What team name did you pick last night? Fusion. Fusion. And who did you pick for project manager? Kira. And boys, what's your team name? Bill, we decided to go with the name Elevate. Elevate. And who's your project manager? The team chose me as Cahill. product manager, Bill. Cahill. Well, I did tell you all yesterday that from here on out, you guys have to be on your toes. Well, just to make sure you're under no illusion, I am going to change from the norm. So, Carl, you will be leading the girls. <laughs> and Kira, you will be leading the boys. So, please change over. <laughs> so, now let's see how that shakes you up. And maybe we'll be in some confusion. <laughs> Jackie will follow Elevate. And Brian will be looking after fusion. So make it happen, because the next time I see all of you will be in my boardroom where one of you will be fired. A simple sales task for Bill's 16 candidates selling different value gift cards for the Carlton Hotels. As well as 200 euro seed money, each team will be given a stand in two of Dublin's busiest shopping centres, Dundrum and Blanchardstown. But they are also free to hit the streets and sell anywhere they choose. Their only restriction is that they must be back in Bill's boardroom by 4.30 p.m. Hi, guys. Hi, thank you. Really excited to be part of the team. I was picked up for project manager for the girls team um, because of all my basically sales experience. I got my first commission only door to door knock and sales job when I was 13 and I've never left sales since I've been in it. Thank you for welcoming me to your team. We know what the rewards for winning this task are and it really is a case of, I don't know if you've ever heard the expression, there are no heroes in defeat, which means that if the team loses, it's no point one person putting up their hand saying, well, I was fantastic because we're all in trouble if the team loses. If we can just quickly go around the room and see where your strengths lie, who is in sales, who's in marketing, and how that will help the project here. Okay, mine is a legal background, so I wouldn't have had a lot to do with, with sales, based with the, a sales product. I will need guidance on, on it, but I think if you just show me one, set me up, I'll be away with it then. 
co-calling is my is probably my strength. Uh, I've led a team, you know, and it was pure co-calling that we don't. Teams can sell all the nominations of gift cards from 20 euro to 250. However, to help incentivize sales, they can choose one gift card value to sell with a predetermined special offer. Okay, so you can buy a 20 euro card and receive a glass of prosecco when you check in. You can buy a 50 euro card and get a free Carlton cookbook. Buy a 100 euro card and get a free bottle of wine. Buy a 150 euro card for the spa and get a free spa treatment. That's very good. For corporate purchase over a thousand euro, you may add a 10% add-on. So if they spend a thousand, they get an extra hundred free. Once the teams pick the special offer they want to promote, they can't change their minds. I was thinking the, that, to be honest, the 100 with a free wine. You could actually say to them, you know, a 100 euro voucher, you get a free bottle of wine with the first thing, and if you even go, it's only going to cost you an extra 9 euro when you get there to stay an extra night. Uh, what about everybody else in the room? Does anybody feel that, that it's not a good oh, idea? Sorry, with a free bottle of wine. Yeah. yeah, I do too. We have loads of stuff there, so what do you think you want to spend the seed money on? I think something that would be really brilliant is if we can like hire a member of the staff like from from the spa, the Carlson Spa, and maybe have like um, I don't know a five minute he head Indian head massage or yeah. something like that because it will draw people to the stand. And yeah. if we have yeah, call if we have nibbles, it'll keep them at the stand mm -hmm. so people far away will go. What's going on over there? Well, we could have. I think we're getting bogged down in the detail. We still haven't decided yeah. what employee we're doing. Do you do you do you I thought Cahill as project manager started off very well, but he's just been engulfed by a tsunami of girls' personalities, and I think he's lost the plot already. They have the best of intentions. They seem to be positive and full of energy, but it's not being channeled in the right direction by Cahill. I think the book will have more impact in the. In the shopping I centre. Think, I think, I'm sorry, but the people in Blanchetown are not going to go for something with the book. Like, I'm from Blanchetown, I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. Like the glass of Prosecco or the, or the spa treatment. I think the 50 euro price point for a gift card is your entry level. Nobody buys a gift card anymore for under 50 euros. I wouldn't buy a gift card just because I was getting a free cookbook and I don't think anyone in, out in Blanchetown would. Cahill, I think you need to make the decision because you're a PM and we're going to fight about it all day. So I think yeah. you just need to make a decision and then that's it. On my head be it. We're going to go with the cookbook. Right, can we pack them up then, please? Oh, Jesus also, Christ. Then, is it... I think guys do with this, this corporate thing. Yeah, I, I agree. That's, that's not if, it, like, no, in this sense, it's picking We're not doing a thousand okay. euros corporate thing. Well, you're I am, I'm making the decision, and I feel, I, I thought that I had the back and forth. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It, I think I'm then I'm cutting out the thousand euros. The hundred euro with the wine. We're doing the hundred euros with a free bottle of wine. The guys that are doing corporate are going to sit here Try and get, just let me finish by and say why. Okay, so that they could try to get into the likes of an eBay or a Google. Well, Bill really delivered a shocker this morning. They weren't expecting that. And they thought that they had this whole thing sussed when well, they haven't, and they'd better watch out. But the temperature is really hotting up in there at the moment. Everyone's talking over everybody. Nobody is listening to anybody. It's just general chaos at the moment. We need to separate everything up to make sure that we have everything that we need for the locations that we're going to. Guys. There's holders for brochures. Well, um... Sorry, lads. Okay, Sorry, just one, one sec. I just want to know what 100 euro buys me. I, I can't go out there and sell something for 100 euro if it gets me It nothing. buys you a room for 99 no, euro no. for a night with a free bottle of yeah, wine. Oh, perfect. But people know, do you know what I mean? Eleven thirty a.m. and Elevate and Fusion are on the move. You're dropping shit. With almost identical strategies, both project managers have a sub-team dedicated to targeting the corporate market. While they each head up the teams selling in their respective shopping centres to incentivise sales, Fusion have a free cookbook with their fifty euro vouchers and Elevate have chosen a free bottle of wine upon check-in to accompany their 100 euro vouchers. Both teams have now left themselves only four hours of selling time. Based in Dundrum Shopping Centre, the largest on Dublin's south side, will be Kira, Jamie, Barry and Will for Team Elevate. I think I will be perceived by the apprentice candidates and I hope that I am perceived as a dark horse because I will come up underneath the radar and win the apprentice. Let's go. We have seed we money that we need to spend on an incentive to get yeah. people to come over to us and get talking nice. to us. A little bit of food or something, then they'll spend more time. While Blanchettstown I mean, Shopping Centre, the biggest on the north side of the city, will be the sales ground for Michelle, Najet, Cahill and Niamh MacDonald for Team Fusion. Hi, would you have a second to talk? We're just here with the Carlton Hotel, so have you heard of the Carlton, yeah? yeah. Oh, very good. Well, we're looking at, we have special offers on our gift vouchers today. It's pretty schnazzy for a 50 euro, you know, present, or keep the book yourself. Do you want to have a flick through it? 
Not, not oh, okay, no problem. This usually retails around 15 euro. So it's just to see what we're doing for today. So, yeah, if you're just thinking of, of it for a gift or anything, you know? I, I might come back. Yeah, well, I'll give you this. And uh, you can have a think about it. All right, no weather at all. Everyone's coming back later, like, yeah. something, some chocolate chocolates on the plate. Yeah, actually put there we asked the girl, just anything to get people, yeah. I don't know, what, what do you think, like? Guys, are we missing the trick here altogether? Yeah. Like, are we just not, are we just aiming at the wrong people? Well, we haven't even went in to sell it, Sarah. Nearby, Carl's like sub-team, led by saleswoman Neve Humphreys, is heading to an industrial park in Blanchettstown to start cold-calling local companies. But who is going to make the first phone call? I haven't, I haven't seen anyone do a call yet, so to be honest, I'd like to kind of take a cue from somebody else on the calls. Well, like, I'm not a salesperson. Could you do one phone call and then... And then I'm not comfortable with doing that because I don't, I, I'm not sure what, what, where you're going with it. Well, it's literally just calling and saying, how are you? I'm you do it. Well, well so, I'll, I'll ring these, right? Okay. I don't mind it. And will I just, okay. I'm just going to say... Okay, listen, guys, we're in the park. Let's take down what, what um, companies are here and start calling. Okay. I think we need to, to concentrate on this area, guys. In a car full of sales experience, making the first call is 27-year-old solicitor, Caroline McHugh from Roscommon. I'm just wondering who I could speak to there in relation to various um, promotions that we have going on, gift, a gift card launch that we're doing. I could be underestimated because of my lack of business experience, but I would probably strive on that. I think it's it's good to go under the radar slightly okay. in that sense. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, that's the first okay. sales call I ever did meet in my life. <laughs> so, I think if this is not working out for lunch, we need to yep. get out of the mm. sell. I, think I really crap. don't think that someone's gonna buy a 50 euro voucher for a hotel on the street. Excuse me, ladies, are you interested in hearing about the Carlton Hotel? No, thank you. So would you be interested in hearing about special offers at the Carlton Hotel? On the south side, Elevate are trying to get that elusive first sale. Imagine you could kind of sit up there for the weekend, enjoy yourselves, take two nights off and get into this into the spa and tr tranquility spa and just, uh, just kind of kick back and relax. For some romantic weekend, you know? Yeah, yeah. Dirty weekend away. Why not? <laughs> this grandchild? No. Really? How old are you? That's yourself, so Great. hopefully uh, Orla and Freddie enjoy yeah, their break. Hope so. Great stuff. I think Will is shining at the moment because he has a great approach, he's very likeable, he can connect with people, good communication skills, he's probably the best. It's so far. How are you stopping them? What are you saying to stop them? I'm going, I'm just saying, like, I'm kind of filtering them in here to be honest with you because trying to get them out here and you can't see the cars and like, we have to use Okay, but what are you saying to them to actually get them to stop talking to you? I'm just saying, do you hear about the cars? No, 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 have you got two minutes to talk to me? We're trying our best, Chris. We're just popping into you, Chris. We're just in the area today with the Carlton Hotel Group. Okay. 1pm. And with no luck selling on the phones, Elevate's corporate team have decided to target car showrooms. Basically, what we would ideally like to do is maybe link in with yourselves that where maybe if somebody purchased a car from yourselves, mm -hmm. just to boost it up, that it's, it's an added incentive for yourselves just to yeah. throw on the table and say, look, you buy a car from us today or whenever, basically what we have, we're going to give you a 100 euro voucher for, our, for okay. the Carlton Hotel. I don't know whether how large is your sales team at the moment here, yeah. but it could be an incentive for them as well as a reward. Mm. Let's say quarter, quarterly reward or monthly reward. Yeah. I'd be interested in maybe doing five of them. We have five complete packs here, right. so we'll just go with these. And, and then, then we just need to pop the cards. <laughs> the cards will go in. First sale of the day, I think we've kind of found our niche now. The first person we've got FaceTime with, we've made a big sale to, so there's going to be a big push now on just going into places, not spending time on the phone, trying to get through at secretaries, trying to get through to the right person. Just walk in, leave them see who we are, see they were well-dressed, well-presented, and get FaceTime with them. And I think the evening is going to be a hell of a lot stronger for us now. If we fit in airside forward and airside Renault before we have to be back in Europa... We can't fit in airside Renault. We can't go there. What? Why not? Seriously? Like, I think Bullock could have a fit, like... Magic into Portum and uh, I don't know, he could do whatever way. He could be like, oh, you're geniuses, or he could be like, uh, who do you think you are, smart men for going to my garage, like, you know? I would definitely do it. I would definitely do it, too. Yeah. I'm against it, but I'm with the team. 100 euro, please. 100 euro. Two hours into selling, and in Blanchettstown, one half of Team Fusion is bringing in the sales. So do you have everything there? Their cards, your yeah. receipts? That's everything there for you as well. That's great. While the other half is still car-bound. Hi, Carl. How are you doing? 
Um, uh, yeah, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass you on to Neve now. To be quite honest, we haven't uh, had any sales. I don't think it's, it's, you know, it's anything to do with our sales technique. I think that if we did get into a, a meeting, we would certainly, you know, sell because we, we, our confidence has grown throughout the day. Have you got appointments?